Welcome to this quick intro to the reference push-pull feeder. Let's create a new push-pull feeder. We need to center the camera on the pick location and then press Auto Setup. The pick location that is closest to the reel and then click the button. As you see it recognizes the sprocket holes and perfectly calculates the proper positions. We need to manually set the part pitch because you can't see that. Now let's set up the OCR region to recognize the part label. This process is uh, guided and you have your help texts underneath the camera view. We can select the right corner point and finally make it rectangular for our purpose. That's it. We have defined our OCR region. We can now use the part recognition and as you see the fiducial has been replaced by the proper part. Okay, now we need to set up the proper pick location Z. We move the nozzle tip above the pick location to probe the proper height. Need to fine tune that. And then we can capture the location from the nozzle tip. Right. Now we go back to the pick location and move the tool to the pick location. This is our starting point for the lever actuation motion. We need to select the actuator that actually does the actuation and I have already created that one with the same offsets as the nozzle. This has the advantage that the coordinates are the same. If you haven't, you must select the actuator now and we can set the first point. The entry point is just above the lever. We capture that from the actuator. Then we go to the second point, which is down to engage the lever. We also need to apply the proper tension because it will be the backwards point too. Enable the forward and backward switches to include this location in the path. Then we go forward in the actual pull motion until the ratchet is engaged and a little bit more until the dog also engages in the sprocket hole and add a little bit more to be on the safe side. Okay, That's our last point and we need to manually disengage the lever for now like that and we can properly set up the speeds for 0402 parts we need a slow speed for now otherwise the parts will topple out of the tape we enable the feeder and try our first feed let's have a look in test alignment and we see it's a perfect pick Let's try another one and we see it takes the second part from the tape without actuating the lever because we have 2 mm pitch for 0402 parts. Do that a few times. Right. Let's create the next feeder. 
If it is right besides the first one, it will automatically recognize it and add it. This is a one-click setup. It has now properly translated all the coordinates from the first feeder to the second, but with the proper x-axis offset. And the same for the push-pull motion x-axis and we can do our first feed there too after one click let's have a look in test alignment and we have again a perfect pick the second pick again without lever actuation and the third create, uh, activates the lever and then does a vision calibration of the position. I do this a few times and you will see that it learns how precise it is and it will uh, do no more calibration. Let's add another one and another one and in this one it couldn't recognize the part properly. Actually it's because the camera um, delay is not enough, the picture was blurred. But let's take this as an opportunity to see how you can edit the pipeline of the OCR. Let's go to the first feeder because it is the template for all the other feeders and edit the, uh, the pipeline there. I show you how the image is rescaled to be small for, for fast processing and we can, we can increase the font maximum pixel size to get a better OCR result. As you see, the letters are more, now more green and orangey and the chances are that OCR is better. We clone these settings to all the feeders and retry. And now we get the proper replacement. And apply that to reflect in the list. Okay, one more. That's a difficult one because it's transparent tape. Uh, the sprocket hole recognition doesn't work and I use this as an example of how you can also use no calibration at all and set up all the coordinates with traditional camera capturing. Or you could even use uh, nozzle tip capturing if, for instance, the feeder is outside your the range of your camera. So the feeder actually works without vision if need. We manually improve these coordinates a bit. And then do another OCR. And now the OCR is done without the sprocket holes and the proper part is confirmed. We need to change the pitch to 4 mm for these parts and now we can do our first pick. That's it, thanks for now.